Hi, it's Mike with Utastic. I'm here at RailsConf 2014, and I'm standing here with Kyoto Tamura, who is a maintainer for the FluentD uh, log aggregation and data data collector. Data collector. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much for taking the time lot, to Mike. speak. Um, what what is a log aggregator collector? What yeah, so FluentD is a log aggregator log collector uh, written in uh, Ruby, and its key feature is it's a really lightweight. It's a very small Ruby program, augmented by extensible plugin architecture. Mm -hmm. And it, it, it runs pretty fast for um, uh, for all sorts of logs. Uh, a lot of our customers collect data for like Apache Engine log, Apache Nginx logs, Sys logs, application logs, and store them in like Elasticsearch, store them in MongoDB, copy the data, archive in S3, right. and so forth. Um, we started a, product, a project two and a half years ago, right. and the community has grown to be about like 50 regular contributors, thousands of users in the world, including SlideShare and Nintendo. Yeah, yeah, so, uh, Nintendo. That's actually that's pretty cool. I, yeah, I, I, wonder how did, I mean, are you able to say how they're using it? Or well, I'm actually not sure about like oh. the actual like you know how they use it, but I think it's part of their like online games that are going on now. Okay, and basically like with all these companies, uh, logs are very very important. They want to centrally manage it, and they want to do all sorts of um, uh, operations on them. And before, like a lot of like myself included, we would rsync, write a script here and there, but as like the number of your data sources increase and the number of storage systems you want to store and use increase, the complexity increases like exponentially. And we want to tame complexity, keep everything simple, and keep everything performantly lean. So, uh, how did you get involved in this project? Yeah, so I'm the, so the FluentD was originally created by my employer, uh, Treasure Data, okay. and I'm employee number one. And when we first created the thing, we didn't think it was going to be big, but one of our customers saw it and they're like, "Man, like we wish this was open source." Right. And we sort of drew the inspiration from Heroku, uh, who actually offers a service as a pass. Okay. But they also like open source a lot of stuff, especially the stuff that runs on the client side. Mm -hmm. So we did the same. The community started to go organically. And that right now we have like a little short of like eighteen hundred uh, stars on GitHub, and it's it's been steadily rising. Oh wow, that's so it's it's a pretty well uh, adopted. Yeah. I, I, use, I sometimes do the self-deprecating intro <laughs> that it is the log collector that nobody's heard of. Right. But it, it's actually pretty cool. Yeah, no, 1,800 people have heard it <laughs> yeah. at least. And yeah. It's like that, that button. So uh, the the contributions is, are, do you, it's open source, but how do you, how do you interact with the community? Do you have people like contributing patches or doing? Yeah, yeah, works? yeah. So right now I think there are 18 people with commit rights. Mm -hmm. uh, three of them come from us, Treasure Data. It's a fairly, uh, it's a very balanced community in the sense that we have committers from like various companies, mm -hmm. and although we started originally in Japan, um, our uh, Treasure Data founders are originally from Japan. Uh, it's starting to spread. Like a lot of the questions these days come from like all parts of the world. And as someone who constantly answers questions in the mailing list, I'm, I'm glad to see this adoption going global. Mm -hmm. And you know, uh, it's always funny with some of these open source projects. Like I have no idea what FluentD means. Yeah. Well, how did you, what's the name? Uh, Where did it okay. come from? So originally, uh, we wanted to make various data sources talk to various data like backend systems more fluently. So the original author of the, the project, Sada, uh, who also wrote Message Pack, which is a binary protocol, he wanted to call it Fluent. And that's why our GitHub username is Fluent. But then um, he also realized that's not very Google. -able. Yeah. <laughs> like when you type Fluent, there's like all sorts of like language websites, right, right? right? So we just decided to add D, which um, traditionally stands for Demon. Okay. Like stats D or our Syslog. Oh, okay. D. So it's the Unix D. Yeah, Unix D. So and that that's the, the story. Okay. So now it's Fluent slash Fluent D is the project repo. So if somebody was interested in in you know log aggregation and collection as yeah. as we start to have more people running multiple servers and needing to aggregate data. Yeah. Um, what what would they do to to check out like how how do you recommend somebody? So our GitHub repo is a good place to start. Uh, so is our website fluentd.org. And if you're familiar with Ruby, and I know not everyone is from the Ruby community, Gemini so fluentd, and you can get started right away. Is it like? 
compatible back to 1.8 or is it? Uh, so we officially, I think, support 1.9.3 and above. Okay. And in the newer versions, we're trying to slowly push the community <laughs> to 2 and above. Yeah, to, yeah, because now it's 2.0 is, is... Yeah, 2.0 is the... And the, our experimental um, bleeding edge right now is trying to um, work off of 2.1.1. Okay. And Ruby has made great performance uh, progress over the past few years, and we want to take advantage of that. And as far as is putting in the, the log aggregator, is it something that uh, uh, a normal Rails developer could probably to work through? Yeah, so that's the other great thing about FluentD. Like, uh, when we when I tell people, especially not familiar with like writing Ruby systems code, is like, ooh, this is like system software. It's hard. It must be really hard to write plugins. Actually, I know a lot of engineers and programmers or software writers right. um, who learn to write Ruby, myself included, actually, partially, by writing writing plugins for Fluentd. Oh, really? And there's only like a tiny bit of code that you need to write, and everything is really well attracted, so that you really don't have to repeat what other people have already built. And yeah, so it's pretty easy to get started. And you said that earlier, it's only about 5,000 lines for the Yeah, core. that's the core. Yeah, and, so the uh, core. So it's probably a good idea for people to do like what DHH recommended, and that's just go read yeah. the source code. It's not. Yeah, um, it, 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 is a, it is a pretty small program, yeah. pretty uh, well documented. Not in the code, but that is something that <laughs> we're working on. Okay. And uh, well, there's a lot of documentation, and the mailing list is very active. Like when you post something within 24 hours, someone's going to respond. Great. Well, thank you very much for taking the time to Thanks, Mike. Me. I appreciate it. Thanks. User groups with lots to say, interviews and more. No way. Sharing great ideas in the tech community. Fascinating conversations, a plethora of information. Find out for yourself today at youtastic.com.